Hello everyone, Nicole here. Um, it's been a couple of weeks since I've done an investigation. Um, I've been sick, so I'm sure you can still hear um, a little bit of sickness I have left um, still in my voice. Um, I'm going to try to get these through this investigation without hacking up a lung. Um, I still have a bit of a cough and so I'm going to try to be as little as annoying as possible. <laughs> so with that, actually let me just turn this on. And so we have our laser grid and with me I have two new vessels and I bought three the day I went to the store. Um, it was a thrift store, secondhand store, and these two in particular really grabbed my attention. Um, thank you. Um, these two really grabbed my attention. This one especially. Um, the Raggedy Ann doll grabbed my attention, and I, I feel like the Raggedy Ann doll grabbed my attention for nostalgic reasons. Um, I grew up with Raggedy Ann and so I don't know if there's anything attached to the Raggedy Ann doll um, I feel like there could be but this one I really truly feel um, could be thank you um, I do see that the EMF detector is going off um, so what I have done is I have a blinky ball on the lap of this doll and I have a blinky ball on the lap of the other doll and so at any point that they want to communicate, they can let me know which one is communicating by setting off the blinky ball. And how you guys would do that is just by touching it. So if you touch the blinky ball or move it at all, um, it'll make the ball light up. And I'm going to go through the rest of the tools here as well. Um, so there are six blinky balls all together. There is one on your lap, and I just want to introduce them to the names that I have given their vessels. So this one here, this is Candy. And the Raggedy Ann doll I've named Lizzie. And so we have Candy and Lizzie. And I decided to do both of them today at the same time because I want to see if they are spirited. And so I figured what better way than to, I got them together and I will interview them together. So there are six blinky balls all together and I will let you guys know, Candy and Lizzie, I will let you guys know where they are and how to use them. So you have one on your lap, Candy, and you have one on your lap, Lizzie. And if you touch them, they will blink. There's also one up here. There's three on the table back there with the um, battery operated candles. Also on that table with the battery operated candles, is a flat white disc and if you touch it it is a motion sensor light and so it'll light up when you interact with that light this red light here is an EVP recorder and so if you try to talk to me I may not be able to hear you in real time with my ears sometimes I can um, but most of the time it's difficult to hear you with my ears and so that device will be able be able to pick up your voices so when I listen to the recording back I will be able to hear anything that you guys have said and so if you talk as loudly as possible into that device with the red light then I, when I listen back I'll be able to hear your responses these green lights in the background and as you can see I'm moving my hand through it so it's distorting it a little bit um, those green lights in the background, if you walk through those green lights, even though it's kind of hard to pay attention to everything all at once, when I look back at the recording, sometimes I'll notice in real time. Um, but if you walk through the green lights, it'll distort those green lights or block them out altogether, and I will be able to see it and know that you are next to me. Um, I also have my thermal uh, imaging camera, which I'm going to use tonight, even though I have it, still haven't figured out how to take pictures with it. 
but that's okay because I'm just going to wing it. And then I have my spirit box. And the spirit box I'm not going to use until later. The EMF detector, which is right here, which one of you has been using so far, um, if you touch that. And I did mention earlier, um, I did tell them how to use it. And so it's no surprise to me that they are using it. Um, so if you touch it, you stand next to it, interact with it, it will make the lights light up. So with that being said, I am going to get started. I'm just going to turn on my thermal imaging camera. So first I will ask uh, Candy. Candy, can you please tell me your real name? Lizzie, can you please tell me your real name? How old are you? Are you a child? Are you an adult? Are you a man or a boy? I did see the EMF detector go off after that. Question, are you saying that you are either a man or a boy? If one of you was answering that question, can you please use the blinky ball on your lap to tell me which one of you was answering that question? Are you a young girl or a woman? Where are you from? Do 
you know that you have passed away and that you are a spirit? If you do know that you've passed away, what year did you pass away? Oh wow. Three lights. Can you get it to three lights again? I know it can be a little hard to gather the energy needed to interact with these tools. Now, I'm going to ask a question that may seem a little silly, but I feel like I need to incorporate this question into every quote unquote paranormal interview because you just never know who or what you're interacting with. So are you a human spirit? Now, when you crossed over, did someone greet you on the other side? If someone greeted you, who was it? Now, a couple of nights ago, I woke up in the middle of the night and there was a very heavy presence in my room. And this presence, I could have sworn, and see, I'm gonna make it very clear, is that when I'm in the in-between phase, between waking and uh, sleeping, sometimes I don't exactly trust what I see because it could just be you know, something I'm seeing because I am coming out of a sleep state. Now, when I woke up, I saw something in my room and I'm not entirely sure what it was, but I also felt a very, very heavy presence next to me. Was that presence either of you? And if it was, if you are going to confirm that it was you, can you make the EMF detector light up to three lights to confirm that it was you? Now, if it was not you, okay, so I'm, I believe that you're saying that it was not you. Was it another spirit?
Have you been trying to get my attention? Now, is it possible for you to gather the energy to make any of these blinky balls light up? There's three on this table and three on that table. Any one of them is fine. If you don't want to get too close, you can always make one of them go off over there. If you don't mind getting close, I won't hurt you. None of these tools will hurt you. You can always interact with the ones that are close to your vessel. And all you have to do is touch them and they will start to blink. Now, are you a little unsure of this whole process here? Maybe nobody's ever tried to talk to you before. I'm going to turn on the spirit box now and the spirit box can be very loud and very annoying but it's a very useful tool and you can use the spirit box to I feel like the spirit box gives off energy that you can use to be able to speak through the spirit box and it makes it a little bit easier for interaction um, just try to talk as loudly as possible. So I'm going to turn this on. Hello? Hi Candy, hi Lizzie. So, Candy, can you please tell me what your actual name is? Are 
do an adult. Do you like me 
see here. One of you spirited or both? Can you get the EMF detector, which is that device right there? Can you make the lights light up? solid two lights. I know it's hard. <clears throat> Do you know what my name is? My name is Nicole. Can you say it back to me? I just heard on the spirit box trapped. Are you trapped? on camera, but when I look at the lights themselves, there's nothing like that. The lights are pulsating. Oh, I hope that shows up on camera. Are you making the lights pulsate like that?
So, as I was sitting here, I was noticing that there was a light, and I can still see it on camera, kind of like blinking a little bit, but when I look at the lights and what it's on, there's nothing like that happening actually on the surface. And so, I'm not sure what the camera is picking up, and then when I was looking, the lights suddenly began to pulsate. And I, I really hope that the camera picked up the pulsation of the lights because that was really strange. Can you do that again? Can you move through the light? Now, I did notice that there was no blinky ball activity at all whatsoever um, in this investigation. I think that some spirits prefer certain tools over others. And some prefer the blinky balls, while others prefer the EMF detector. Some prefer the EVP recorder, spirit box, etc. Um, it seems like these spirits, or this spirit in particular, um, really likes the EMF detector. Um, and I, I see the confirmation happening when I say something on the lights. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Thank you. <coughs> and I will apologize for the coughing. I'm still a little sick. Um, so is there anything that, actually what I'm going to ask before I end this is that if the answer is yes, Please get the EMF detector to three lights. If it's not, then please don't make it blink at all. But here's my question. Are you both spirited? Only one of you is spirited. So out of the two of you, one of you is spirited. Okay. So I'm going to ask my follow-up question. Now, like I said in the beginning of the video, the Raggedy Ann doll, I feel like was just a nostalgic purchase for me. Um, even though I got pulled towards the Raggedy Ann doll, I don't feel like anything in particular you know, as far as like energetically, but this one right here, this is candy. And I feel like candy does have a spirit attached to the vessel. Can you confirm that you're attached to this vessel here? If you're attached to this vessel, can you light up the lights? Thank you. And so I will also try to confirm through the spirit box and through the EMF detector, it seems that you're a young boy. Is that correct? Okay. Are you younger than the age of five? Now I will ask you to confirm if you are younger than the age of five. If you can get the EMF detector to three lights, and I know that's hard, but I'm not sure if you are the age of five and younger or if we need to go up on the age. So 
So we'll do this. I'm going to count down from five. When I get to the age that you are, can you light up the EMF detector? Does that sound like a good idea to you? Okay, so here we go. Five. Four. Three. Two, one. Okay, now I had a feeling that you were not the age of five and younger, and that's why I wanted you to get it to three lights. So I'm gonna count up from the age of five, and when I get to your age, please light it up, okay? And if you can get it to three lights so I know for sure, Six. Seven. Eight. Are you seven? Let me go back to seven because it seemed like you were trying to get it to three lights. Are you seven? No? Okay. Eight. Nine. Ten. Eleven. Twelve. I feel like I've gone way past. I think what I'll do is I will listen to the spirit box because I did ask this question as well. And then I believe that you did answer. It's kind of hard to get the answers in real time because the craziness of the spirit box and the sounds that come from it. So I will give a listen. I do believe that you're between the ages of five and nine. That is just the impression that I get. So I will definitely take a listen. Is there anything that you would like to say before I end this session? And anything that you'd like to say can be said right into this red light over here as loudly as possible. All right, well, thank you so much for, oh, thank you. <laughs> thank you so much for coming here and talking with me and, you know, for taking the time to interact with the tools and, and you know, just having a conversation. And I'm not sure if, if anybody has ever tried to do this with you before, but I hope to get to know you better and I hope that you're comfortable here. And I hope that, you know, you know that this is your home and you're welcome here. And, you know, we just want to have you as part of our family and join the rest of the spirits that are here as well. And, you know, we hope that you can find this to be a safe space and where you can feel loved and be nurtured. And with that, I will say Good night to you, and I will say good night to the YouTube world. Bye.